So you know the type of business you want to get started in. But for some reason, something's holding you back. You're stuck. You just don't take that next step forward. Has that ever happened to you? Man, it's happened to me so many times, even today, because today is the day I do videos, and for some reason I had to read sports 16 different times before I got around to doing what I needed to do. But have you ever gotten yourself stuck? Just never gotten that place of taking action? You know, I have for a long time. I always wanted to do a YouTube channel, but I always had something to hold me back. One, I started thinking limiting beliefs now, limiting beliefs. I wasn't good enough. Who the heck was going to listen to me? Who was going to watch my channel? How was I going to get anybody to watch my channel? I mean, all these things were coming through my head. I mean, the only one who was sabotaging my starting my business was me because I kept second guessing. I kept Having no confidence, I had thought everybody's making money but me. Everybody's exceeding but me. See, if that's you, I got my notes on my computer. It says, this is a big subject. It really is. So if you see me looking down there, I'm just trying to make sure I'm hitting all the topics. But see, what I want to get back to, the only one that's holding you back is you. Because the only one that's holding me back was me. See, so I want to give you an action plan. I really do. On what you should be doing to take that next step forward to build your business. The first one, the biggest one, biggest one, biggest one, biggest one, is stop those limiting beliefs. See, I still do it today. I look at people, I follow people on YouTube. I follow people on social media. And I see that this huge following, they're making all this money. But you know, the thing is, if they did it, you can do it. If they did it, I can do it. See, all they've done is set the blueprint for it. That's all it is. They've set the blueprint for you to become successful in your business. See, the only way you don't win is if you quit. The only way you don't win is if you stop doing it. The only way you won't win is if you don't take that first step. So you got to take that first step. So here's the best thing. I don't know the best thing. <laughs> don't reinvent the wheel. Now, I'm not saying go copy somebody, but here's what I do all the time. I follow certain people in my niche or niche, however you pronounce it. I say niche. Some people told me that's wrong, but that's how I say it. So what I do is I follow them. I schedule time every day to watch a different person's YouTube video because I'm trying to build my YouTube channel. And be, why am I doing that? Because guess what? Google's the biggest search engine. Google owns YouTube. YouTube's the second. And it's here forever. My videos don't go away. I get leads forever on these things. So I schedule time every day to watch people I wanna learn from. I take notes. I put things in my words. I might add to them, I might subtract them, but I make the content my own. That's all you need to do. So if it's in health and wellness, if it's in relationships, if it's in financial, find somebody that is successful. Follow them and learn from. Them. Now, the next thing is you got to make it a must. And what I mean by that, a must is... See, have you ever thought you should start one, you should have, but you should have, could have done it, whatever, they, however they say that. But if you make it a must, like I must start a channel, even if you just start the channel, and you can search different places to have somebody show you how to start a channel, and guess what, I have one of those too. But just start a channel, make it a must. Tell yourself this year, I'm going to do a YouTube channel. This year, I'm going to build my business. This year, I'm going to lose 10 pounds. Whew, that's a tough one. I don't lose weight very well. <laughs> I really don't. I put on weight pretty well, but I don't lose it very well. See, just stop watching and doing. It. You know, if you want to start a business, start a business. If it's not the right business, you can always change it. In fact, I can't tell you how many businesses I've been in. 
until I found the one that I have a passion for. Because what I have is, I have a passion for what I'm doing now. So, I want you to do me a favor. See, my must in the middle of 2019, and this actually was the truth, I was a big social media person. I'm big on Facebook. I was doing a lot of ads, and I stopped for a while because I teach school, and that got in the way, and then all of a sudden, out of the blue, my Facebook ads were destroyed. They won't let me advertise anymore, and I can't get around it, so I got to kind of build on something to get back to where I was. Um, I'm, I'm not going to let Facebook get away with it. Well, if they want to, they can, I guess. But, so I made that decision. My must was to get my YouTube channel going bigger, doing something every day. That was my must. I wasn't going to let anything get in my way. So comment below, below, on what is your must this year? What is your must going to be right now? Or what are you trying to work on? And make it a must. Tell me what it is. Then the last thing is do smaller and more attainable goals rather than huge goals. See, when I look on the people I follow, they make, oh my gosh, they have 100K followers. They have so many followers. That was my goal. I had to get 100,000 followers. Well, do you know how hard that is? So I made a goal of getting 50 and then 100 and then 200 and then 500 and then working towards 1,000. And it starts snowballing. So work on attainable goals, small goals, not the big goals. Does that make sense? It should make sense. So if you want to lose 30 pounds, work on getting rid of the first five. And then work on five more. And then guess what? It gets a little harder, right? So then work on five more, right? Just put in place. Don't give yourself a time period where you got to get it done. Just work on your little goals. That is what's good. So was that helpful? Did you get anything out of this? Boy, if you did, give me your biggest takeaway down below in the comments. I'd really like it. Like this, share it. If you're not a subscriber, hit that button that says subscribe and hit that bell so you're notified when I put up new videos, which by the way, I do every Tuesday and Thursday. If you'd like me to talk on something special, let me know. Peace out. Start your business now.